Well, this week, a lot of people have reached out to us here at Krem saying they're having a lot of trouble finding a COVID-19 test required for things like travel or camp. All of this coming as our local health leaders say there's actually no shortage of testing supplies. So our own Ian Smay talk, is joining us now live to talk more about the struggle to find a test and how especially how it's affecting one local family. Ian. Yeah, good evening, Whitney. As you were saying, local health leaders have told us that there's no shortage in COVID-19 tests here in the Spokane area, but multiple people have said finding an appointment for testing hasn't been easy, which could hamper people's plans to travel or in this case, attend a summer camp. Summer camps, something enjoyed by many kids in the inland Northwest, haven't been immune to changes caused by COVID-19. But for one local family with a daughter just days away from starting camp, they were in for a surprise. So we didn't know up until like last week that we had to even um, do any sort of COVID test. We knew that she was going to have to wear masks while she was there. So that was a bit of a surprise. Well, that normally wouldn't seem like an issue. Rydell has struggled to find a place with testing availability in the coming days. Now just scrambling to try and find a place for her to get a rapid test within 72 hours of her going. Rydell's daughter's camp starts Saturday. She's hoping to get her daughter a rapid test, but if they don't get results fast enough, her daughter could miss out on some of the fun of summer camp. Yeah, there's definitely a worry if I can't get her in to be tested soon enough, um, and then it comes time for her to go to summer camp. I'm not really sure if maybe we can bring her a few days late. I don't know. Rydell isn't the only one struggling to find a test. Others have reached out to Krem this week to talk about their own struggles. This comes as Spokane sees a spike in cases as the Delta variant surges. Spokane's interim health director, Dr. Francisco Velasquez, says there isn't a shortage of testing supplies, and local health care providers say testing is still being done. But finding available tests, especially with an increase in travelers due to restrictions being loosened, can be a challenge. Appointments can fill up quick, and wait times for walk-ins at local urgent cares have been as high as four hours at some locations. Rydell's advice? Ask those around you for help. I think just asking your community, your community will help you know, um, going online, you might not get all of the answers as quickly or as clearly as just asking your neighbors, your community members um, who possibly have already been through the situation. One important thing to look out for is to ensure that once you find a test that it's the right one. For example, to get into Canada as a fully vaccinated traveler, you can't submit a rapid antigen test, but tests such as PCR or rapid ID now are accepted. If you want more information on COVID-19 testing here in Spokane, visit our website, krem.com. In the newsroom, Ian Smay, Krem 2 News.